Today, we're playing Catan Cities and Knights. What you'll need for are these new pieces. City walls allow you to hold two extra cards in your hands. And then there's knights. We'll talk about them later with the barbarians. There are also commodities. So if you have a city on a hex, instead of picking up two resources, you pick up a resource and a commodity. You get paper from forest, coins from mountains, and cloth from a pasture. Commodities can build city improvements. So if you build one, it looks like this. The bonuses of this are if the dice, the dice look like this with a yellow city and a two red, then you would get a yellow card. Every time you build, it gets more expensive. So two, then three, then four, and once you get to this stage, it comes with a bonus. Each city improvements have different bonuses. And if you get to here, you get a metropolis. If you put this, if you get this, you put it on your city, this will give you two extra victory points. One of the yellow cards is a card called the merchant. If you get the merchant, you put on a hex of your choice, you're able to trade it for two to one until somebody moves it. Back to the barbarians. So, on the dice there's a yellow castle, a green castle, and a blue castle. And also, a barbarian. If you roll the barbarian with the other two dice, the barbarian gets closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer until it lands. Once it lands, it attacks. The barbarian's points are equal to how many cities are already on the board. And to beat the barbarians, you'll need knights. In order to get a knight, you will need the same thing as a development card in the first Catan. A sheep, a rock, and a wheat. That activate, the wheat activates the knights. And the knights don't count as points unless they're activated. So, orange only has one point when the barbarian will have as many cities are on the board. If the barbarians have more, the person with the fewest knights on the board loses a city and it turns into a seven. If the players win, then the person with the most knights gets a victory point. If there's a tie, then the two tires, or three, will pick a progress card of their choice. Check out our other YouTube video with a more in-depth walkthrough of how to play. Have, Have fun. fun.